All right, back to it. Matia, there. <clears throat> we meet again. You, you do remember me, yes? You saved my skin twice over and killed him. Now. Killed him. Now. And now I find myself turning to you for help once more. Let us, but let us stay here no longer. We must save the leak. stand. Ever it takes. Matsuya, it pains me to put you into harm's way, but I ask your aid as well. Uh, of course, Palakas stand is not far, just down that hill. But as I told His Excellency before, the path is blocked by terrible creatures. No choice but to turn back. In that case, this is what we do. Amigos, I ask that you take the lead and dispatch any beasts we will encounter. Alize and I will keep Matsuya hidden among the trees and follow the more tower. No time in the thing of the way, God. I think there are some close to Wild Girl Raveling, so I'm going to just go in one and add a few quests for it. So I'm going to come out of the way. The next one is here. Oh, I can stand, so. And unlike normal, where I normally try to do the 
did uh, quests offline and I did them online. See, we got two and a half hours. We might be able to get uh, plenty of that. Kill those who can and quickly. See no beast, but stay in the guard. I don't know much for he needs spells. Motionless the letter. Close your eyes, no pulse, nor do they appear to be breathing. The cooling body has already begun to stiffen. The mass of food suggests the village was pulled by a terrible beast. <laughs> the villagers' injuries do not appear to be a but does not respond to your efforts. The breathing grows more ragged and shallow, and its vacant eyes are those of a man who has lost his days. I wake, the moment it goes on. No. Hello. Have you have you come to help us? Too late, too late, my family, my friends. Well, the, these are the only visitors, five, and only hope that there's many of you, but if the rest have turned to peace, let us do what we can to see the damage of the further. No matter what comes, we must keep our spirits high. We are so much the first here. We have Ethernet access to the gates of first sight. Thank you. We can tend to the, to the rest. Play, look for Monsia, no matter, no doubt, look. We have seen here ways of the heavier on the spot of the house. Oh, I pray this is this will see us through this calamity. Oh, Emagos, Emagos! This is Yeruvet. Yeruvet. The other here. He is hurt, but praise be to the sisters, he still lives. No Matsya here has told me everything, but not the words to express my gratitude for your aid. When the heavens began to burn, we were afraid, but did our best to carry on as we always have done. Until today, when those unholy beasts came pouring into our village, flood, midnight, and death. There was no words to describe what followed. Men and women I had known since they were babes, struck down by the creatures, only to rise again to join the murderous horde, in the guise of those same hideous fiends. In the chaos, a handful of our villagers fled for their lives, and we hope they found their way to safety. What's uh, do you perchance remember in Krashov and uh, Medvan? The young couple who had always brought you off. Bought your freshest catches. How could I forget, Elder? When I first came to peddle my wares, desperate to eke out a living, they showed me such kindness. Others shunned me as an outsider, as is their way. The Bakrashov and Madvan, Medvan, and bought my fish and sung its praises. They turned their, my fortunes around. 
Alas, I fear they're in terrible danger. Some of them running toward the Agma Temple. And are those beasts in close pursuit? I had their child, still but a tiny babe, who lured those fiends while caring for caring for one so young is an impossible task, sure. I beg you, go to their aid. I want to help, yet I am but a fisherman. I cannot face bees of my own. Will you come with me? Yeah, absolutely. Ah, thank you. Our my temple lies to the west of here. I must study. And I will continue calling them Aether Currents instead of Aether Currents, because it's A-E. You say up, you say up, because it's a fucking H. Uh, okay, I know I can jump up here. The other two I will get while doing quests. Oh. I'm pretty sure that everything that I've gotten has been quite well, actually. I see those fronds on your head, you glowing warble. Was just a head. It was built by those who worshipped Saint Pachma, but had sadly fallen into disrepair in recent years. If my friends made it this far, no doubt they are hiding somewhere in the ruins. No, please stay. But no, please stay. Blah. That was Krasov. Oh no, this is not good. I'll take a look. Please, please do. Hi, came for the ruins. You must study. This is a image. Oh, my joke about some experience.
Man lies motionless on the ground, bearing a grievous wound. I'm sorry, I'm a ghost. I tried to stay behind, but I couldn't. Stay strong. More time than I had. I don't want to die. She lives. She has their child. We must search the jungle before he, between here and Palika stand. There is nowhere else they could, she could have gone, I think. Forgive me, Kirasaf. Once we had you have saved your wife and child who will return and lay you to rest. Tracks are other size of race to travel, but then the child must be elsewhere. You stay over there, Morbo. You know, it's a. Uh, it's Vata. Mavan and daughter came through this area recently, you see no evidence of the passage. Uh, I've got a long way until next break. Then I need to break out some stuff. 
companions. Did you see any sign of them? I found nothing. Perhaps the beasts have chased them further from the village. Oh God's above, I beseech you, pray to live in Medvan and have little one to see. Meanwhile, the skies above Thavnia. No more enemies to trouble us here. It's me. How fair you below. Understood. I will inform Vritra. Chaos and panic sweep Raz at Han. And many more have succumbed to the transformations. Amidst the fray, Ahawan fell, protecting a grief-stricken father. <sighs> My friends fight alongside your radiant host to secure the capital. Beasts have been sighted in Palakistan as well. We have divided our forces in hopes of quelling the threat there. Of small solace is that we now know what triggers the transformation, as my companions tell it. Exposition. So it is the very fear and despair in their hearts which inflict this abhorrent punishment upon them. A nightmare for which my children will never awake. O oh, capricious and cruel fate, they are undeserving of such condemnation. Will you wallow in sorrow or rise to the occasion? Rasat Han is leaderless. Before he passed, Ahawan sought to reveal the truth to his people. Honor his wishes. To what end? To breed a new conflict between dragon and man? These claws could reduce thee to shreds with a touch. These jaws crush thy bones to dust. Only through my proxy could I walk with my children. Without him, I am a bringer of fear. No different from the beasts which beleaguer them. Perhaps so. Only in death were Hreisvelga and Shiva united. Indeed, whenever man and dragon have come together, death has ever been the inevitable result. It was our fear of your kind that sparked a nigh-endless war. Fear and hate of which Nidhogg drank deep as he laid waste to my homeland. And in turn, I took my revenge on his brood. Blood for blood, pain for pain. I thought nothing of theirs, only of mine. And yet, were the chasm between us too vast and too deep, Kreisvelga would not have borne his sail to battle and our rescue. He would never have entrusted a mortal champion with one of his eyes, and the Dragon Song War would still rage on. And I would still wage a never-ending war of violence and vengeance. The future of our star be damned. I cannot speak for Ahuan's greater goals, yet I know that he served you, served your people, long and true. In this time of unprecedented crisis, he turned to you. You could do worse than to place your trust in him. It will not be easy, but the future of Radzid Han hangs in the balance. We have 
company. Come, Vritra! It's all or nothing! I really like how they're taking lines from the uh, cinematic trailer and literally pulling them, putting them here. It's the the actual specific circumstances and the same as the, 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 the cinematic trailer. But, they're there. They, it's nuts. This is one of the reasons why Ed Walker is good. I still say that Shadow Breakers ended up being better, in my humble opinion. But it's still good. It's it's, it's great. It, it's still great. They can't help but fear the worst. If Mevhan fled deeper into the jungle, she and her child are in grave danger. Whatever are we going to do? God have mercy! Must well, stay calm, Matsya. Oh, what can I add at a time like this? He could be dead. I tell him about the transformations. Oh, if I allow myself to be overcome by this fear, I too might become a beast. I'm not sure I understand. I will do my best. I seen to the wounded. How, t how did the two of you fare? Did you find your friends? Exposition. See, in that case, let us help you find the mother and child. Before we leave, we must ensure the village will be safe in arms. Alize and I will patrol the area and search for more beasts. Would you and Matsuya speak with Elder Yuruvet? Let pray explain to him the situation and join us as soon as we are, you are able. We will save Medon, her child. We can do that much for her Karasa. 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 It will not be easy. I will tell the elder about the grasp. I am hearted to see you were safe, but of the family. I found the grasp, but he Say no more, I understand. We have lost another of our dear friends. Grasif may be gone, but there is still hope for Medan and their child. Please, find them. Thank you. And if, in your search, you come across anyone else who has escaped the slot, they tell them what has happened. I will do my best to keep the villagers safe and their spirits high. Come, let us rejoin our, your friends at once. This report of vicinity appears to be beast free. No doubt thanks to your early efforts. And with that, let us resume our search for a friend and her child. Where should we begin, Matsya? If we follow the Sur da Sal, as we will arrive at Rusa, the temple, the sacred place where people do go to commune with the divinities. It's possible that Medan got shelter there, perhaps other visitors as well. It is such a Matsya, stay close to me, alright? 
You two take the lead. Keep an eye out for beasts and anyone in the need for help. Very well. We make for a proof sign. As quickly as we are able. With me. I kind of want, uh, I would love to have the, uh, Matanga label race. It'd be really weird considering, uh, <laughs> the Gajasutras, or the Gajasutras, um, uh, connection. I was done for, huh? Livid? She's a friend of mine too. I've not seen her. She must still be out there somewhere trying to avoid the beast. With her child, God. Will you not for me? I will make my way back to the village on my own. I, I, I will say I have I'm bad at Indian accents. I will admit that I do work with uh, uh, people with Indian accents. Uh, uh, as in authentic Indians. But, uh, <laughs> I will not say that I actually help me at all. Let me go sweet. Perusa lies up ahead, but something terrible has happened. These have come, and many have already been killed. Alphano and Alize have gone to go do what they can, but there are so so many, more than I can count. We must be ready. Probably supposed to do this 
go down this way, come up this way, turn around. But I went the opposite direction. Thank you, Bob. How's that the others? You see, you seem to all the beasts in sight. In that case, let's have everyone gather in front of the temple. Courage, friend. The pain will pass. Has anyone seen Mevan? Where could she be? We've dealt with all the blasphemies and made certain no villagers are still in hiding. Good work. We've otherwise tended to the wounded as best we can. What will become of us? Help is on the way, surely. We may have to abandon our homes now, but we will return, someday. But... where can we go? Is anywhere even safe? That I cannot say. Well, I can. Nowhere's safe. Run all you like, but there's no escape in these things. And even if I could... <laughs> it's too late for my family. This isn't good. The more they dwell on the tragedy, the more likely we are to lose them, too. My friends! This... This is a place of worship. Should your heart quake with sadness, cast your minds to the heavens and remember Remember the teachings of the old gods. Did they not implore us to stand fast when waves of sorrow break against our shores? Know this, my children. There is more ugliness than beauty in this world. To live is to suffer, to drink of calamity and drown in anguish, to toil and be tested, always and ever. Tis a perilous path you walk. Death lurks in the dark and is the sole promise that awaits at journey's end. You will tremble with terror. You will weep tears of anger and despair. But do not avert your eyes. See your life for what it is. Then will you see how the hardships make you strong. Every doubt reforged as scales for your armor. Every agony to temper your blade.
Thank you, lad. We'd almost forgotten who we are. My undying gratitude to you as well, my friends. You were searching for Mevan, no? We must return home. I pray you help the boy find his friend. Gladly. We dispatched what beasts we could, but the roads are still dangerous. Stay together and go in safety. That was very impressive, what you did back there. Those words seem to resonate with your people. They should. They were the first spoken unto our ancestors by the divinity of legend. I'm easily upset, and fish are wont to flee a temperamental hand, so I recite the teachings over and over to calm myself. They're lovely and inspiring to hear, though I imagine they were born of great misfortune. They are born of life. There's as much bad as good in it. More, many would attest. All the more reason to appreciate the good when you can. I won't argue with that. In darkness, seek joy. Surrender not to sadness and see beyond despair. Walk free, and bear the light for others to follow. And with that, let us see if we can't find Mervyn. Did you see? That beast was chasing someone. My view was blocked by the trees, but I'm sure I saw someone being chased by a beast. Can I go? Go with Matsya and search along the river. Alpha Noah and I will circle around from the south. here, a little XP here, and eventually he'll be at 81, which means I can start. I can walk dungeons. That 
that's her. No, I'm I'm sure of it. Lemon! Don't please! Then his lifeless body floats before you battered and broken a creature. No doubt, it kills so quickly. It's a child, I'm going to be too soon. No! Alpha, no! Did you find Mevin in the child? Mevin's gone, but you're... Here's the child. Please! I have the child. Let me see her. She's so cold, Elphino. The child is alert, and I see no wounds, and yet... She grows weaker. My spells can do no more. What she needs is a change of clothes and a warm bed. We must hurry back. Not now! Matsya, take the child. In his midst. God damn it. It appears we've made enough noise to be heard for miles around. More will be upon us ere long. We make our stand here. Matya, can you take her back to the village? But the child? All, all by myself? You can't be serious! The beasts will follow you home, unless we stop them here. And so we shall. Be strong, Matsya. Her life is in your hands. Right. I... I can do it. I know you can. We'll keep them busy, Matsya. Go! Quickly! Reaper Red Mage and Sage. <laughs> Do it, Matsya. Steady. You know the way. No.
Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. To live is to suffer, to drink of calamity. It is a perilous path. Death lurks in the dark. No! I'm not afraid! I'm not afraid! Do not avert your eyes. See! See your life for what it is! See how the hardships make you strong! Every doubt reforged! Agony. <sighs> the divinity. Nay, but one who would deliver thee just the same. Please, you must save the child. She is all that remains of Mevan and Grasif. Please. Seems the babe's taken a liking to you. Thou art strong, little one. Let us convey thee to thy home. <laughs> I spied our friends as we flew in. They appeared to be holding their own against the Horde. Right. That's the last of them. We should hurry and find Matsya. Everything will be fine. Really? How can you be so sure? A fine battle it must have been. Shame I missed it. Estinian, it was you who came to Matia's aid. I was only along for the ride. Vritra was the one who saw the boy was in need. The two are headed back to the village. Where the worm will honor Ahiwan's wishes and finally reveal himself to his people. Perhaps so. Will you go and join them? There's something I need to do first. Mervyn gave her life so that her child might live. She deserves better than to be left to drift alone. She deserves to be laid to rest beside her husband, at least. Will you help me? We have done what we can. It is for the villagers of P Palakistan to perform the funeral rites. Nothing else, Mevin and Karasif, that I've heard his name, died as they, they lived, as themselves and not be as beasts. 
their souls will find peace in the ethereal sea. They think the day would come when even that smallest of solaces uh, would be this comfort. You're ready then. In that case, let's head to Palika's stand. No doubt Vritra is with us. Alright, because this gives me the uh, final final quest, I need to make sure I get the Lisa Current and Quest. Although. Alright, I'm gonna. So apparently I need to complete this quest in order to do this uh, remaining quest. Or maybe it's just part. Maybe it'll unlock before this quest is over. I prefer finishing it up with the, the MSQ quest. Rest easy, for all is well here. Young Matsya returned the babe safe in his arms. Owing to a warm bread, the girl hath already begun to regain her strength. Thus joyously received as word of the mother and father's fate, as well as that of their transformed neighbors. How many children of Thavnir must we lose to this calamity? Mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. Every death, another void that can never be filled. We who survive them must carry the weight of their memory as we strive to regain a semblance of what we have lost. Garasif and Mevin's babe is a child of Thavnir as well. I thank you for returning her to us safe. Oh, great and merciful worm, I have not the words to express my gratitude. They say that were it not for you, brave Matsya and the child would have been lost to us forever. Long have I heard the rumors of a mighty dragon had formed a pact of friendship with the Satra, but never would I have expected such a kind and gentle soul. Truth in part, but not in all. Justinian's looking at him and judging him. I am Vritra. For years and count counted hath this isle served as mine abode. An isle I have ruled over as Satrap, with Ahawin as my loyal servant. Am my ears to be believed? You are the true Satrap all along. Madonna! What are you doing here? I heard from the Radiant that you had gone to help the people of Pel Pelican stand in their time of need. And so I with several of my colleagues from the great work co came to offer our services. The alchemists have already brewed up some potions for Mevin's daughter. But enough about us. You and your role are far greater, Enigma. If you were the true Sata all along, could it be that young Varshan was created to serve you serve as your emissary? Now did suspect the boy, but a simulacrum? Rumors circulated for many years around the High Crucible that our most skilled alchemists were once commissioned by the Satrap's family in secret to fashion a mammoth indistinguishable from a living boy. Looking at Varshan, that knowledge is simply put two and two together. I was not alone in drawing this conclusion, but like me, they no doubt recognized that the Satrap was using this Ilacum to work more closely with his people, and decided not to press the issue. 
I had always assumed one of Ahawan's associates would manipulate him from afar, though the truth is indeed far more surprising. It is an honor to meet you in the flesh, Master Vitra. Pray, allow me to express my gratitude. If you had not believed in or given unto us your scales, I do not know where it would be. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. It was thou and thou, fellow alchemists, that fashioned the means to unmake the towers. You were the saviors not only of Ratzathan, but the star. Far too kind you are, Master Vitra. The star yet wants for salvation. Once more will my colleagues and I commit the knowledge and resources at our disposal to the mission of aiding the people in this their darkest hour. It would seem this place is in good hands. I would return to see how Ratsatan fares. What will you do, Silence? I worry for the survivors we met at Perusa. Shall we pay them a visit before making our way back? In that case, might I ask a favor? Nothing too burdensome, I promise this one. This way. but just a little bit longer, I'd say. In the meantime, I was hoping I might ask you a few questions. The red sky, these toad beats. What in the name of the sisters is happening here in Davnia? Exposition. Oh my, that's what there's a lot to take in. It would seem this situation is even more grave than we expected. Thank you, friend. My colleagues and I will use your your knowledge to see that it can if it can further in our own research. And with that, here we are. Hot a piping hot chai. Brewed from my own secret recipes, spices and dailies, together with hearty helping of rich milk and pure sugar. Remain enough for everyone in the village. Might I trouble you to deliver a few cups? The drink has medicinal properties then. Not in the least. The ingredients are quite ordinary. It is so, so very tasty, though, as a way of lifting the spirits. The spicy aroma and distinctive sweetness of chai is a simple everyday pleasure in our own. Sometimes the best medicine is the simplest. A lovely sentiment, in armor. By all means, allow us to assist. While you while you lot distribute hot beverages, I'll do a sweep of errant beasts. Oh, because while you lot dis distribute hot beverages, I'll do a sweep of errant beasts to slay far less arduous tasks, no doubt. When you finish, look at me for the, look for me at the wakeful Torano. Hoping. Here's some chai. Wait, I know you. You were the one who saved us from those bees back at the temple. But not for you, well, uh, let's not even think about that. At times like this, we mustn't dwell on what might have been, but look to the future. What future awaits us? How can Ratsatan hope to recover from this? Most of my friends are gone. I don't know where to turn. Cup of chai? Well, I do insist. Ah, that aroma has a way of clearing the mind. Come to think of it, we faced our fair share of trials in the past as well. No matter how hard the times, we always come together as a people united. One day at a time, one step at a time. But that is all any of us can do. Yes, back to work. 
Once I finish this cup. Thank you. Oh, truck buggy. I don't use it that often, but you never know. Lazing about, knowing full well the beast might strike again at any moment. Do they not realize that lives are in danger? Well, I for one intend to survive. I'm too young to die, because I leave this island behind if I must. But where would I go? Is anywhere safe these days? Well, you're thinking of the outer world. Would you like some hot chai? A cup of chai. Can't you see I have more important things to worry about? No. No, you're right. Precisely in times like these, we must strive to remain calm and steady. You'll believe I'll visit the Elder and see what needs to be done. If there's any way I can aid in my village or my friends, I will do it. Ah, there's the other one. The city. I'm sorry, I just want to be left alone. My best friend and I fled the village together when the bees took him out. It was all I could do to run. All the while, I could hear his, this monstrous voice screaming my name. I'm just coming to deliver this chai for you. It's for me. We used to drink chai together often. We shared stories over steaming cups after a hard day's work. Thank you, friend. Pain may never pass, but I'll press. Must press on. All the same, this memory for we who must remember. All right. With that, I have my my uh, either current quests. All right, we can quickly grab these. Let me do these. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick break. Um, be back. We'll do these uh, either current quests. Finish up when they're done. Be right back. A couple minutes. I might remember to switch back. All right, Ether Current Crest and the last two Ether Currents. Uh, I'm gonna have to, like speed through these. But I'm not worried about like quests. We want to focus on the the MSQ. Grab that and then I'm
who are you? Yeah, we're trying to speed the next bus. Yeah. Well, I can't really speed through uh, a escort mission. I'm just gonna skip the cutscene. Turn this question mark.
And I travel to the spots on the Reaper, switch to Monk, do the thing, come back. Mainly because uh, 80 versus 85 not going to be so helpful. But it is plus that uh, matches. Level, so in all the, the quest mobs are going to be at your level. Mm -hmm. so. Although it appears that I don't get the uh, getting XP for quest bobs. Thanks God, thanks God. I have all the locate, the ones to locate, and then I got the, I got two more quests, one of them I'm going to turn in, and then the other is this piece, finish it up to simple pleasures. Back. I've heard all about your noble deed. Let me blah 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 blah.
That is quick and easy. Back to Reapers. So I can finish up and become tuned to. Thank you for delivering in the chai, Emigos. Did it help to lift the villagers' spirits? This is heartening to hear indeed. The final days show no sign of abating. It is all the more reason we should we must try to keep our composure. Our lines have been forever changed. The people who have lost will never return to us. The tragedies will run away in our hearts. But we will have the capacity to live with our suffering, to carry the agony till we too join the fallen in death. It is not a surrender, but a recognition. Or it is only an acceptance that we find the strength to move forward. Afternoon achievement and King eighty seven. Three more levels to go. Matsuya is eyeing you as if there is something he wants to say. As you have finished your deliveries, might I talk with you for a moment? I'm curious to know what became of Mevin's and Karas's remains. Oh, thank you, friend. Surely they'll be able to rest peacefully by each other's side. I and the people of Palakistan would perform the rites as soon as we are able. As for the child, it would not be easy for her growing up without her parents. But I promise to do what I can. Once she is able to eat solid food, fish and catch her will help nourish her. That's the bright side, Matsya. Well, we finished delivering the chai. Chai, I do believe everyone has a piping cock cup. I could almost believe there's magic at work. How their attention fades with every sip. Let us pray that Palakistan will, will, has seen the last of these transformations, at least for now. It is still at risk, as every village in Thavnia, like a smolt. Still, I think we can leave this place in the care of our friends from the Radiant and the High Crucible. Shall we return to Ratsatan? By all means, do not let us keep you further. There are still many who have need of your wisdom and strength to deliver them from its terrible calamity. And I will do what I can as well. I will bring rations and supplies from Kali. Akyali. You have plenty to spare. And let us find Estini and be on the way. Where did you wander off to again? The Wakefield Torano, near the bridge to Rodsatan, as I recall. Very well then. I believe I can fly. Alphano told me everything. I'm full glad that I'm here the people are safe. Likewise, you are pleased to you know I found no evidence of lingering beasts in the jungle and ruins. It would seem we finished off the last of them. Trying times yet lie ahead for the people of Thavnir. Fortunately, they have wise and benevolent Sartor to shepherd them to. Speaking of which, I received word from Thangren not a short while ago. He waits our return to the city of Alzai. All the Zadal's past. Come on. Well, it's hard. No preference.
I don't know why it's a big flourish. It's good to see you safe. Given the skies, it is all too easy to fear the worst. I'm pleased to report that we are succeeding in quelling the threat here in the city. The beasts have all but fell. The state citizens are safe for now. I also heard from the radio that an important proclamation will be made in the city square. Though they said no more than that. Don't you have any idea what this is about? Yeah, probably uh, Vitra revealing himself. The v Vitra is finally coming out from behind the curtain. Suppose we too should hear what he has to say. Mega Duta, then. But before that, it would appear that the word assembly has not yet reached all the citizens. If anyone along the way seems unaware, it would best enlighten them. We are going to force you to walk through the city again. all gone. I've been hiding and I'm too scared to go out and look. Yep, they're gone. There's also an announcement. Oh, that's a relief. I thought one of those people going to eat me. wonder where Valshan is. He's the slowest runner. I hope he, he got away. Hmm. He could be with the other people from the palace. Maybe I'll see him in the square. Maybe, please. I swear to you, my flesh tastes absolutely terrible. Oh, gods, what are you doing? You're scaring me like that. I'm not quite. If you're not quiet, the beasts will find us. No, the beasts are gone, but there's going to be an announcement in the square. The square, you say? That's where the satrap was killed. My very eyes are some crushed with the creature's maw. So many lives lost. Terrible. And you say there's someone else who would lead Razatan instead? Whoever they are, they say anything to sully the memory. If they say anything to sully the memory of the saw trap, make them regret it. Someone's coming! People of Razathan, it warms my heart to see so many brave, resilient souls before me. Today, I would share with you a great revelation. But before I do, I must make a humble request. Do not be alarmed, nor avert your eyes. See the one I unveil for who he is, and know that he means you no harm. Very well. I dare say it can't be worse than the horrors we've already seen. Many thanks. A dragon! People of Rad. 
God, Zatan. I am Vritra, and for years uncounted hath this isle served as mine abode. Tis as the Satrap's ally I am known. Today, I would reveal the truth unto you. Let us hope they accept him. If I am hearing this right, you were the satrap all along? Vashon! I mean... Master Vitra... The, the, does your divine eye really see all? Nay, child. While mine eye hath borne witness to the whole of our nation's history, to its future I am blind as thee. the likes of which we have never known is come to Fafnir, our home. Friends and loved ones have been taken from us. I, too, have lost my closest confidence. Ahawan loved this land and served it with dignity till his dying breath. A nobler satrap there will never be. For so long, I lacked the courage to face you. I will not easily earn your trust. This I know. And yet, I cannot sit idly by and abandon Rat that harm to her fate. A font of boundless vibrancy, this jewel of the ocean. Since time immemorial, has she glittered with every color imaginable. To this dragon, slumbering in his dark lair, t'was a mesmerizing sight, and one that brought no end of joy to my heart. This calamity has stolen too much from you already. Yet so long as you live, the light of Radzat Han will never be extinguished. I pray you let me watch over it. Over you. And lend me your strength that we might face this trial and those to come as one. I do not know you, Dragon, but I thank you for speaking the truth to us. As divinities, both Manusha and Riga once joined together, so too do I believe that hand in hand, we can overcome this ordeal and welcome an era of peace. A sight that would have surely brought a smile to his ale's face. Indeed. Excuse me, but I must speak with the Sartrap at once. Father! You have suffered dearly of late. 
Yet you must endeavor to look beyond these losses to the future you yet have. On behalf of the Forum of Charlian, I come with a proposal by which you, the people of Radzat Han, might be saved. I say again, I must speak with your satrap. I beseech you, take me to him with all possible haste. I am Satrap here. Speak thy proposal. All present shall hear and judge. If I have given offense, then I apologize. First, allow me to share with you what knowledge we have of the phenomenon responsible for your woes. The final days. Tis an affliction of stagnancy and rot, sown into the currents of the star. Though the first prominent manifestation was here, in Thavner, it will invariably spread to every corner of the world. The Forum was forewarned of this apocalypse several centuries ago. Thenceforth, my predecessors sought to prepare for the end times in the only conceivable fashion, by securing a means of escape. Escape this star? What madness is this? Tis by no means madness. With the coming of the seventh umbral calamity, the true nature of the red moon Dalamud was revealed. That it was an artificial construct of ancient Alag. But what of the silver moon? This celestial satellite is yet another technological marvel fashioned and maintained by ancient allies. A ship that will sail the heavens and deliver our people from destruction. And by our people, I speak not only of Charlian. We mean to save every man, woman, and child it is within our power to save. Including you, our dear friends of Radzat Han. Recent events necessitate adjustments be made, and quickly, but we can and will escort you safely to the moon. Long has thy forum been allies to Thavnir. I trust thou dost not extend this offer lightly. Yet I wonder, is this truly the way? Is there a future to be built for us beyond this star our father deemed the last bastion of hope? It is for that very reason I come before you and your people. To answer any and all of your questions. To offer my assurances and allay your fears. Though, if you wish the best for your people, I advise you to render your decision swiftly. Show our friends to Megadota. They are to be received as honored guests. Worry not. Whatever decision is reached, your paths shall be yours to decide. Until then, heed the warning of these brave heroes. Guard your hearts against fear and despair, for it is within such fertile soil that the seeds of blasphemy find purchase. Remain calm, and attend to your daily tasks. I shall return anon. Do as you say, Master Vitra. We believe in you.
Oh, you're still here. What a relief. Nidana, what's the matter? Has something happened at Palika's stand? Oh, no, not that I know of. I just hope to hear your thoughts on a theory of mine. <laughs> All who undergo the transformation are drained of their ether, yes? What is it then that gives these beasts the strength to carry on as they do? Logically, they must be drawing upon an alternate form of vital energy. That put me in mind of our earlier conversation, when I tried to explain the essence which many confuse with ether. Akasha, yes, I remember. The unseen gift bestowed from on high. An energy influenced solely by emotion. Yes, yes. In this instance, negative ones set Akasha into motion, thereby infusing the beasts with vitality. I posit this as the mechanism by which the beasts are born and sustained. Ah, do you still have that flower? If we accept that it once shone bright by drawing upon Akasha, influenced by the thoughts of those nearby, then fear, terror, despair, negative emotions so powerful as to suffocate it, permeated the air in this place. You must be very careful. The forces which drive the final days may be beyond our ability to perceive. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you like that. At any rate, I will continue my research into Akasha. Do temper your expectations, however. There are sadly few detailed studies upon which I may draw. Formulating a new theory as you have is itself no small feat. I wish you well in your endeavors, and pray you take care. Thank you. You stay safe as well, yes? Till next we meet, and we will meet again. As far as we've come in after all the horrors we've seen, there's still so much we do not know about the final days. Could it be, as Nidhana, Nidhana says, that the cause of this phenomenon is beyond our comprehension? And if so, powerless to resolve it? Uh, greetings, honored scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have a message from His Excellency the Satrap. Great sons, you have my gratitude for aiding my people in this most trying of times. Alas, matters here at Megaduta prevent me from meeting you all in person. As a token of mine appreciation, I have arranged for a feast to be held in your honor. May it nurse you in preparation for the trials ahead. Such are the words of Master Victor. The feast he speaks of awaits you at Meredes Mehane. Pray, make your way there whenever your business is done here. Thank you for your kindness. Indeed, I was hoping that you might find a place to discuss on this course, this course of action. That seems an ideal venue. Ah, and to you, you, and because when you there is someone who has hoped to introduce you to in particular. While I am loath to detain you further, might you spare a moment at the time? personal invitation, knowing full well your services are on the highest demand right now. Must be important. We're not. We'll save some food for you. But take off the time you need. Thank you, friend. Whenever you are ready, please join me in the Aetherite Plaza. I shall go on the head.
I've already figured this place out. Alright, I'm at 87, this is an 85 quest, so... Access to the Aetherite you see there has been restricted for, to a select few ever since the tower first appeared. We, have sin we sincerely apologize for the inconvenience, but it was deemed too dangerous to permit the free movement of visitors at a time of emergency, a risk we could not take. In light of recent developments, however, the Satrap has decided that such restrictions would only hinder our pro efforts to combat the final days. As such, I would encourage you to attune to the Aetherite before proceeding along the corridor. Yay! I can now, now teleport directly to Rats at home. And then I can use it to, <laughs> to teleport to the end of the corridor. Ah, you must be wondering what this place is. You stand in the Hall of the Radiant Host. Uh, leadership oversees all of Ratzahan's military operations. Suntaram, the destination lies just ahead. Welcome to Suntaram. Without further ado, allow me to introduce you to... Oh, so you're the famous Semigas in war, eh? You know, you know the moment you stepped in at all. You're the luck of one who's walked in. Sterabot, please. You are speaking with the Sartorps honored guests and the savior of our people. Do you not show a mother from this respect? What is the design paying the fellow warrior a compliment? They're all friends here. Well, formally then, for the benefit of our, my company, it's a pleasure to have, have you with us. Oh, great ship, you know, the Eosia, yeah. fire in the sun and dawn, warrior of light, and all around good end. This truck is actually my Ha ha ha! Man, I'm with my own art. I like it. Don't you worry. I'll keep it short. There's just a thing or two you'd like you to like you to remember. First of all, about the room you're standing in. What's it called? Welcomes delegates from other lands to oversee trade and diplomatic deals. Then there are military medals for staff. This is what. Then there are military medals. Why all these officers are stationed here in the center? I imagine you're more than familiar with these divinations that are presented to us. Representatives from Doma. Ulda Nanamiga. Lim Salaminsa. Gridania. And last but not, never let it be said, please, each time. Yeah, the eyes, ears, and mouth have reached the distance between Razakhan and their respective families. Use this brief respite to share, we've used this brief respite to share the details of our flight with all of the sea's counterparts. And wouldn't you know it, all of their leaders requested a few words from them specifically. There are men in high demand, eh? And so, would you mind beginning us with your, your own account? Indulge us before we, you indulge yourself. Exposition. Thank you for the, the conditions under which men are not turned to be the ethereal phenomenon you have observed. You have given us much to consider. It is concerning that that the first transmission currently occurred before the skies to effect is contrary to what, what one would expect. Thank you, the information you conveyed to Lucia upon your return to the meeting is 
rather valuable. As soon as there's a close to the calamity here in Fabri, which the Grand Company of Eorzea, not ours, and Paddy's, our leaders knew at once that the final days were like where he needed to follow. Then, steps to necessity of extending the calamity and spread. Our agents were able to confirm that, for the time being, the sky is burned only over the bounty, including this island and Corfus. Alas, that is a little comfort. comfort. Hi. All throughout the Allied world. Land is there for the reports of people transforming into the From what little we have learned, these incidents are of similar in nature to, the, to that involved in the Merchant Gazal. As was the case here, the victims of the weapon were chained prior to the heavens when they set ablaze. And so, while the burning skies of Nets manifest beyond the boundary, the transformations did not appear to be subject to any similar restriction. If anyone anywhere who was obtained by despair could turn, then the way is safe. That's about the size of it. We could have the opposite to these creatures of hell, don't you think? Here in Rats at home, we have taken the column the first chain. The first chain tends to be the biggest. Is there any name, is it? Zenny, to ensure clarity in future communications, we shall urge our com comrades to adapt this phenomenon. Our leaders have taken notice to deal with the threat to the best of our abilities. Aye, ah, each station is assembled their own groups of elite soldiers to put down these so called blasphemies and respond as they respond as an unknown fear. At the same time, they are doing all in their power to put the people's minds at ease and prevent panic and fear to be ready. That said, brave souls and the strength and fortitude to fail those terrible things is not easily found. Just so, and it is for that very reason that we turn to you. Hey, tell us your, lend us your strength to help us to slave blasphemies that plague our enemies. Now, now, you don't have to keep, keep your reply before dinner. We should also mention that uh, each blasphemy seems to possess highly different characters. Works well against one may serve and poor than against the other. So, before you go rushing off to save everything's day, have a word with the governments. They'll tell you the point. And with that, I do believe our friend here is a, has a feast to attend. Spare a thought for us while you're packing into that all that fine cuisine, okay? You have gained access to roll quests for anyone. Except for quests of fine and story style available for tank, melee DPS, physical range DPS, medical range DPS, and human ones. So, we got Ishgard. We got Ishgard. Uh, uh, Limsa, Limsa, Gregania, uh, Doma, and uh, Udon da Alamiga. <laughs> uh, I think the reason why Udon da and Alamiga are together is because of Rabat's connection to the So, which means, in order to complete these quests, I need to essentially to them. Each of those roles. So, in regards to Emigos here, my target ones that I've already started the leveling process is actually indicated right down here. In amongst my uh, like my clicks for uh, my my jobs, so I can switch my jobs. You know, essentially, so. For Emigos, we have Reaper for melee DPS. We've, we've got Gunbreaker for tank. Machinist for range, uh, physical ranged. Red Mage for for uh, magical ranged. And Sage for healer. Meanwhile, uh, Elagos 
He's maybe monk. Uh, uh, Dark Knight. Transfer. Transfer. I mean, uh, Summoner. And Astro Logan. That's that sort of like the main ones. One of my favorite favorites. Except for Dark Knight. Dark Knight. I actually prefer Gunbreaker over Dark Knight, but I do Dark Knight just because. Meanwhile, as the ghost is now meaning ninja. As as the the melee DPS paladin for tank. Bard for rain, physical rain. There we got our three of all that that job. Uh, black mage. And white mage. Sadly, we have four tanks, so I could have another another, which should act as a marauder. Give there Bascala. And easily we could could melee with maybe either you know Dragoon or Samurai. However, I've run out of physical range. <laughs> and uh, 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 any range actually. We kind of have an imbalance of jobs, honestly. We have five melee cl classes. We have four tanks, four healers, then we have three physical ranged and three medical ranged. So, in order to do for them to balance that out, they really need to, like, if anything, at least for the next uh, expansion, then we should have a physical ranged and a magic ranged. Just to kind of balance it out so there's like four or four equal levels. Then, they could probably do another medical range, <laughs> range, and then like a tank, and then uh, a uh, physical range and a healer. Magic, physical, magic, you know? And then we'd have it evened out, and I can easily make four characters, each of them specializing in, in uh, for each of their sections in one category. It would be great. We just have it in balance. Right? and then head off. I forgive uh, sure about the, her rudeness. She can be a bit boisterous at times, but I believe in her nature. Anyway, my apologies for keeping you from your hard-earned rest. Would you rejoin your companions? Yes. Do you know the way to Nahani? Yeah, I was just there. I know Ren's ahead by the back. <laughs> it's back in my head. Glad to hear you become familiar with our fair city. Pleased to hear that all the drinks are on the house. Or whatever's in your bed. And with that, I must return to my post. On behalf of the Radiant Host, I thank you and your friends once more for lending your strength and courage to run on in our time of need. And we shall endeavor to fight the good fight to the end. And we might honor I won one's legacy and serve Master Vitra. Oh well, you have my word that your efforts will not be in vain. So we will find a point where we'll talk to the Minson delegate and do the um, drive quest. In the meantime, I think my goal would be to... Okay, so the goal is to get them all up to 8990. Actually, probably 90 because the uh, last roll quest is at 90. This is basically one per level, so there's 85, 86, 87, 88. In 90, so it's 85, right? Yeah, 85. So it starts at 85. So there's six quests in each quest line. We want to see see them all. I will find a certain. I think I have an idea of a certain point where we can do that, and then it's just me trying to focus so that I can get them up, so I can just do them all together. I kind of want to do it before. Or I finish the Ed Walker storyline quest. 
for reasons it would make more sense if I do. I'll be, I'll be wrapping up soon. Welcome. When the satrap asked to entertain a party of honor guests, I was wondering who it might be. It's a lovely surprise, to say the least. By the way, I heard all about Kazal from your friend Grahatia. I understand that there's nothing that could be done, but I have hardly to hear he meant, meant us no more. I cannot thank you enough for dispatching the beast. As the smallest token of our thanks, your food and drink tonight on Merhead Meridius Street. I think it's Meridius. Street. Speaking of which, what shall I start you off with? Glass of your finest spirits. Actually, no. As you wish. Pray, join your friends, and I will bring you your drink. Welcome back. Whatever did the Radiant want with you, with you pray tell? Oh, roll quests. <laughs> your allies are sent military dele delegates. That's news to me. Mind sharing the details. I, I don't remember if this is voiced or not. So blasphemy is now plague all the realm. It is. I might have uh, that one. It will only get worse if what Father said is true, as it did in Amarot. If that's our model, then shouldn't we expect the effects to grow more severe as it feeds off its own spread? As if people transforming into those monstrosities wasn't bad enough. If the flora and fauna, if the land itself turned against us. No one would survive. Here's your order, friend. May you find comfort in these dark times. Where do we go from here? If there's one thing we've learned, fighting blindly and simply reacting to what comes will accomplish nothing. We must find a solution that addresses the fundamental cause. Before our strength is exhausted, before this crisis spirals out of control. Is there something, anything we've overlooked? If there is an answer, Hydaelyn herself will have it. T'was she who bound Zodiac and forestalled the final days. Alas, we have heard naught from her since the Tower of Babel. Whether she cannot or will not speak, I can only speculate. Even the flower she gave us is no more. In our time, we call it Elpis. We would do well to remember. So advised the Watcher. But what could be the significance of that name? It is entirely unfamiliar to me. To me as well. It meant something to the ancients, though. In our time. Most surely. Yet I do not recall a single mention of it in the records of Anida. Another dead end. And quite literally. It's not as if there are any ancients living we could go and ask. Not alive as such, but not quite dead.
Elidibus. I sealed him in the white horosite of the Crystal Tower back on the first. Contained within that reservoir of ether that maintains it, ether that is returned little by little to the sea, naught may remain of his soul. However, if part of it lingers, we might be able to speak with him there. I know we can no longer make that journey, but you, my friend, still can. Would be an opportunity to look in on the others as well. I miss, I miss the people of the first. Thank you, my friend. That would mean much to me. Again, Shadowbringers was my else, favorite expansion to the list. Should we learn the first is safe, we'll have that much more reason to keep fighting the good fight. That said, the odds are not in our favor, to say the least. Which is why we're fortunate to have Uriange up there on the moon. Working hard to make all the necessary preparations for our departure, should it come to it. And why we have nothing to lose by staying the course till the last instant. Indeed. To the last, let us all do what we can. I will consult with Master Matoya and see if she knows of a way to reach Hydaelyn from the Ethereal Sea. And I will visit the nation's leaders and attempt to ascertain how far the final days have progressed elsewhere. Keep me abreast of your findings. I can seek out and slay the worst of the immediate threats, if only to slow the spread. Unease, terror, despair. Try as we might to suppress them, these emotions will return to harry us time and time again. But when they do, remember this. Your friends and loved ones are out there somewhere, sharing in your struggle. You are not alone. So ends the brief respite before the next revelation. Yes, so much left for you to see. Where beginning ends, and end begins. And with that, we will call this. Uh, we will call it there for me. I think this is a great uh, stopping point. Uh, let me finish up the quest. Now then, if there's anything f forgotten to mention, I got Hans and Alma and Ghidorla. In that case, it's time we each attend to our tasks. And when you arrive at the first, you'll never go to dream. And we'll pick off with uh, returning to the Castarian um, next time, which will probably be on Saturday. The what is Saturday? Fifteen. Thank you for watching. This is a good pl place to stop. Uh, it's, it's been less than two and a half hours, but okay, um, we're getting into another section. What will we find at the Crystallian? Will we be able to contact Lydipus? Can we figure out what the heck Alpus is? We will find out next time on the Adventures of Amagos Windwall, Water of Light.